So that is a feature I do like, copying of both cartridges and save games from original cartridges to um, your backup on your Super UFO. So that feature is pretty cool and I'll show you something else now that I like. I'm going to go to now is USB mode. Now unlike the EverDrive the USB connection comes as standard so what I'm going to do now is go to my PC and where I've got the load of software and just click load and that's now beaming down the USB cable Okay, now you've noticed it's changed to say Rendering Ranger. So if I go here and play DRAM game, I get Rendering Ranger, which obviously I do own a legal copy of. <coughs> yeah, right. So what didn't I like? Well, there were a couple of features that I couldn't get working at all. Um, let's go back to the main menu and let's go to this and click on hyper mode. Now this is supposedly how you get the cheats and the save game positions to work. So. Hyper mode's on, and we'll play DRAM game. Play game in hyper mode. Great. Press left plus start to save the game in real time. And press right plus start to resume it. Fantastic. So we'll start the game. Oh, and what's happened there? It appears to have crashed. And I've tried this with Super Mario World, with Roadrunner, and various other games. I've not actually found one game yet that works with hyper mode. It either crashes, or there's corrupt graphics, or you go to press the save and resume button and nothing happens. So. If you do find a game that it actually does work with, let me know in the comments below the video. Right, um, let's see another feature that a thing's supposed to have that I couldn't get working. I'm going to pop in Star Fox. Oh, there we go, which as we all know is a Super FX game. And according to the box and the hype that goes with this, you can play Super FX games on the system if you have a Super FX cartridge. So, for example, I want to play Stunt Race FX. Great, I've got a Starwing cartridge in there. And this is Stunt Race FX PAL, that's Starwing PAL. So, Let's play Stunt Race FX. Uh, nope, that's not going to work. Change the region, and still nothing. So, no, I haven't actually found one. Super FX game that works like this. Oh, there's Star Fox 2 there. Let's try that.
Maybe this one will surprise us. Nope, that looks like a crash to me. So that doesn't work, or I couldn't get it to work. And probably my main complaint, and certainly something that the EverDrive has that this doesn't have, is you may have noticed already, but we're stuck with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight character and an extension file names, which you know we haven't had to put up with since well, Windows 3.1, and certainly not something that most systems have to put up with. But sadly, on here, you do, which is a real shame. I don't know why. They couldn't have got that right, but there you go. That it does annoy me. You can have subdirectories and put your ROMs into there, but um, especially if you want to try out different regions games like a PAL game and an NTSC game of the same name, it can get very confusing. Oh yeah, it also plays music unlike the other drive, which is twee, I suppose. There's a few other neat little things. And you can go here, and you can do various tests, including a quite handy, oh, there's a music test. You can change between the tunes. And a joypad test that's always useful. So you can make sure your joypad's working correctly, which is always handy, especially with this more vintage game stuff. So that's the Super UFO Pro 8, um, but it's a pretty good cartridge, it's a shame about some of the more advanced features not working, and it's a real shame about the 8 character file name limit, but it's still quite a good card, it's very good value for money, and if you want something with a USB loader on it, oh I should just point out that the USB drivers don't work on Windows 64 because they're not signed, but I was able to get them working on VirtualBox, so... Um, there you go, yep, I would re still recommend the Super UFO, but um, if you don't need the advanced features, particularly the cartridge dumping, then you might prefer the EverDrive because it still has the long file name support. Okay, so that's the end of this review, and hopefully you'll check out the rest of my site.